Hello guys, welcome to Let's Talk Diesel. In today's video, we're going to talk about the AC compressor. The part you're seeing right now belongs to a DD15 engine, and we're gonna replace it today. But first, uh, usually uh, DD15s and DD13s and DD16s engines has have the AC compressor on the on the right side, you know, on the right side of the engine, on the passenger side, if you wanna call it that way. And on Volvos is on the left bottom side. On Packards is on the as well is on the left bottom side, and on Cummins is on the top right side of the engine. So. The first thing we're gonna make sure before we replace the AC compressor is make sure there is no uh, pressure on the, um, on the AC lines, okay, air conditioning lines. And as you can see right now here, we have our machine. I turn it off, but you can see uh, the pressure that shows me here. It's zero. It has to be that way. If this one shows more than zero, let's say 10, it means there is still some uh, there is some pressure in the system, and you should do again a recovery. Okay. So as you can see right now, zero and zero, so we're good. So I'm gonna turn off the machine and we're gonna start removing this uh, CAC uh, pipe that goes from the turbocharger to the CAC uh, you don't need necessarily to remove this thing but just you guys can see clearly I'm uh, gonna do it okay I'm gonna use for that uh, 13, uh, 13 millimeter range because the uh, the gun will not fit in here We're gonna use a screwdriver for this. Just to open this clamp in here. Right. We're gonna leave it here on the side. Okay. Make sure this one's completely loose. Now we're gonna lose this here. Okay. Uh, for this, we're gonna need a uh, five millimeters uh, hexagon. Uh, socket, as you can see here. Okay. You can this. You can do. You can do this with a ratchet, but it will take longer. Okay. Now I'm gonna remove the pipe. If you wanna open this, you just put the screwdriver in here. Put it here so you can see it. Okay. All right. And you see it's out. Uh, usually, if you don't have no room for these parts, you can put it on the back of the truck or on a table if you have one. In my case, uh, since I just need to remove this part, just gonna put it here on the side. Okay, now we have the compressor in here. The first thing we're gonna do is remove the belt. For that, you're gonna need a 
a half inch ratchet with a half inch extension three inches so there is a hole in here there's a square you can put this a little bit and you see the ratchet will go in okay and this square over there now we're gonna bring it down There we are. We remove the belt. You can leave the ratchet over there because uh, we don't need it to take it out because we are not replacing the tensioner at this time. Now, with a 13 socket, we're gonna remove this line. As you can see, for this, um, for this mark that you see here, you can tell the compressor has been, has been never changed so it means this is the first time we're going to replace it remove these first okay all right and always when you're doing this kind of jobs use protective equipment in your eyes I mean you know protective glasses okay because you never know even if the machine sometimes says this thing is empty sometimes it has a little bit of pressure and it can spill in your eyes so protect your eyes guys okay. also usually you should replace the you should replace the ceiling o-rings but this time since this is an auto operator truck uh, he just bring the compressor today he didn't bring the o-rings but I I might have one store in stock sorry okay and now you see clearly we can take out the compressor now and don't forget to unplug it you see the plug is in here see uh, to unplug it some, it comes like this so you just lift this tab up and that's it it will come off uh, if, if I have a, a I have a zip tie but I have a pair of dice in here I already move it before I start doing the video but just to remind you that you're gonna you might need one of these just to remove that zip tie from there okay now we're gonna remove the compressor okay now you're gonna remove these two bolts you can put it in here and with one hand holding the compressor and the other one with the gun you remove it and that's it I'm gonna leave the gun around here and you see we successfully remove the AC compressor this one is burned it's not working anymore so we're gonna get rid of this and as you can see we had a new one in here if you want to know or you want to keep record of when you replace uh, your parts it's good to put the day around here or on the back here on the back of the compressor okay just to you know keep a track of what parts are you changing okay now we're gonna install the new compressor one hand holding the other one the other hand here okay once you have two bolts holding it will be easier to continue with the installation
it. Now we're gonna tie, we're gonna tighten the bolts. No, yeah. Sure, one more time. Okay. So now we are satisfied with the installation of the compressor. Now we're gonna install the belt. Okay. It should be easy to install it back since we didn't remove that much of the belt, pretty much just the compressor side. So it should it shouldn't give you a hard time. If you have if you were having a hard time removing this part from the from the ratchet, you know the especially the extension, then just pull it like this a little bit and it's gonna come off really easy. Alright now we're going to install the new ceiling o-rings that you see in here that too so we're gonna remove this uh, nut from here okay all right we're gonna install the ceiling o-rings here on the hoses make sure that this orange fits properly on this part, you see, and here too. If they are bigger, they will not seal, or they are too small, they will not fit on the hose. So they have to be the right side, right? One, and we have uh, one here too. Okay. See, nice. Now we can reinsert the hoses. Okay. You cannot install the hoses in another place that don't belong. You can't do that. the this nut that the one that comes with the compressor it feels the other one it's a little bit loose so okay now you see make sure this one these two hoses need to sit properly do not tight the hoses if you don't feel their seat they are sitting properly in the compressor otherwise you might bend the pipes okay Okay, now we're gonna plug it in the compressor. Okay, so now that we're talking about the AC compressor, I would like to explain a little bit how this works. You see, there is a S, you can see closely here, there is a S and a D in here. This one is for the suction side, you know, the, the, uh, or you can say is the inlet side of the compressor, is the one that sucks the uh, freon that comes from the cabin. This part comes usually cold, and it goes into the compressor and it gets hot, and then it comes from, it comes out from the discharge side of the compressor, okay? And you can see it travels to these hoses, to the. AC condenser and goes back to the air com AC compressor dryer in here. Usually, when you replace the AC compressor, you're supposed to change the AC filter dryer because since this we don't know if it's still drying the freon properly, you're not holding the water particles that comes from the from the compressor. Uh, they need to be replaced. Okay. Uh, but at this time, uh, our customers say you just want to replace the AC compressor. Okay, that's the way. It's that's just a you know 
a small explanation how this works you know and that since this is a one-on-one you know I just need to know the basics for now if you're planning to get into this field then eventually you will learn a little bit more how this works internally so now let's continue this uh, this completes the installation of the AC compressor now we're gonna install the CAC pipe the one that goes from here to here so let me get it If you have pro, uh, problems installing this part around here, just add a little bit of grease like this around and it will go in easily. So here, let's push this one in. As you can see right now, easy, really easy. Make sure this one sits properly in the turbocharger outlet. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we're gonna try this first. Okay, so now we're good, securely tight, and we have the last one here. Right. Now as we're done, you know, now this is complete. If you want to replace the AC filter dryer, you just need to remove this um, this nut in here and these two nuts and the, it will come off. And then you, but for this you still need to uh, remove the freon if you're gonna just replace this thing. You still remove the whole freon from it. Okay? It's really simple. Those two nuts, this one come out, install the new one and put it back the three, the three nuts one, two, three okay so as you can see guys it's not that uh, hard to replace the AC compressor uh, remember to again to wear protective glasses remember to recheck all the bolts that you have removed for example I remo we remove this one, two, three bolts we securely tie, we remove this nut in here uh, we make sure the hoses are properly tied see they're no loose and make sure the CAC pie is properly installed so that will be for me today guys if you want to know how much your AC system needs how much charge it needs from the Freon usually this one takes uh, 4 pounds because it's a sleeper, usually as a day, day caps takes less freon. So that will be for me today, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.